Hi, it's Jay Green with GW Private Capital here in Whittier. I wanted to explain to you how fix and flip private money loans work. People ask me this quite regularly. Hey Jay, how do you qualify for a fix and flip loan? How do they work? So as a flipper myself and a private money lender for more than 30 years, I want to explain to you how GW Private Capital qualifies its flip borrowers and also how other private money lenders in California qualify flippers for private money fix and flip loans. So let me give you some basics and I'll dig in as deeply as I can to explain this to you. In California, there's a couple of factors that are very important to flip lenders. Experience does weigh a lot in the decision making process, the experience of the flipper borrower applicant, but that's not always the main criteria, but it does go very, very far in a flipper borrower for a fix and flip loans. If you have experience, great. It'll be a lot easier for you to obtain a fix and flip loan because there are some private lenders in California that require some experience. At GW Private Capital, it's not critical, but it does, um, it does help in us making the decision and making a private money fix and flip loan, but it's not the most important thing. So let's say you're gonna be buying a flip property, let's start in the city of Whittier, and you're buying it for 600,000. In most cases, uh, GW Private Capital is gonna lend you 80 to 90% of that $600,000 purchase price. And we can also lend you up to 100% of the repairs. So in this scenario where you're buying a fix and flip property of 600,000, for experienced investors, we can lend you about 90% of the purchase price. So we're gonna lend you a loan of 540. So we're gonna acquire 10% down, which is $60,000 we're gonna lend you a first mortgage of 540,000. If you're not so experienced, we're probably gonna require you put more money down, about 15 to 20%. So we're gonna lend you up to um, about 510. Um, now, if you have a really, really good deal, don't let that discourage you if you're not so experienced. We've made deals to new investors where we've really tried the best we can to put these loans together. Um, on, let's go back to the scenario where you're buying a property for 600,000 and we're gonna lend you um, 540 of the 600,000. The interest rate is gonna be usually in the 8% range, about eight and a half, can be in the 9% range. Depends on credit, depends on your experience, how many flips you've done. So let's assume I can get you an eight and a half percent interest rate on your 540,000, you're buying your property for 600. So the monthly interest payment is gonna be interest only. So you're gonna take that 540, multiply it by eight and a half percent, divide it by 12, that's gonna get you your monthly interest only payment, and you're gonna be required typically to make that monthly interest only payment. Sometimes we've deferred that interest payment, meaning you pay the principal back, and you pay the interest when you sell the property. But in most cases, we're gonna require a monthly interest only payment. You're buying this property for 600,000, you put your 10% down, your 60,000, that you need to bring that into escrow when you close your escrow. Now you're also gonna have closing costs. There's gonna be cost in the loan and you need to factor that into your spreadsheet, you need to factor that into your model when you're buying the property. We are normally gonna charge you one to two points. One point is 1% 1 of the loan amount. So if you're borrowing 540, one point is $5,400. If, if we're charging two points, then that's gonna be $10,800. So those points are paid when you buy the property. So you need to consider your down payment of the 10%, 60,000. You also need to consider the points. The points are gonna be paid when you buy the property. We're gonna have some other fees, normally a processing fee of about 200. We're gonna have a doc fee, which is gonna prepare a loan documents. That's gonna be about 695. We don't have too many other fees. I've seen other private money lenders get a little bit more expensive. So when you call us for a pre-approval, when you're gonna buy that property, 
I'm gonna send you what's called a conditional loan proposal. I'm gonna put it in a format and I'm gonna say, we're gonna, um, Mr. Flipper, GW Private Capital, congratulations, we have pre-qualified you for the purchase toward 123 Elm Street and Whittier. We will lend you up to 540,000. Um, now, if I've given you a conditional loan approval, um, I'm gonna tell you exactly what the interest rate is, how long the loan's for, um, what the cost is. Normally, we don't have prepayment penalties. A prepayment penalty is when you pay the loan off before the term of the loan, and there's a penalty. With our loans, uh, we normally don't have prepayment penalties. We may have a require a certain amount of payments being made, normally two to four months of interest payments, but you'll know that when we give you the conditional loan proposal. You're out there, you're looking for flips. If you want a conditional um, approval or pre-approval letter before you even buy the property, you can call me at 714-747 one nine one two and um, just give me the address i'm going to take some information down i want to know about your experience your credit how much money you have to work with as far as down payment if you're going to pay for the repairs and i'll prepare a letter for you that you can um, accompany your offer so you stand strong you have a better chance of getting your offer accepted. And I normally am around on the weekends. If, if, if you really have to get it in that day, just call me and I'll try to get that letter to you as soon as possible. So let's talk about, again, the details of a private money loan and how most private money lenders, including GW Private Capital, qualify you. So you're buying that flip in Whittier for 600,000. We're gonna require you put 10% uh, down, sometimes a little bit more. Now, in some cases for a lot of our continued experienced investors, what we'll do is we'll give you one mortgage of that 540 at that eight and a half percent range. Rate could be a little bit higher depending on your credit, other factors. And sometimes we can give you a second mortgage behind that first mortgage. So let's say we're gonna lend you 540,000 first mortgage. Then we can sometimes give you a second mortgage, maybe 60,000, maybe a little bit more. So this is where we're able to do those 100% financing loans. Now the rates are gonna be higher on second mortgages. Um, the rates are usually gonna be about 12, 13, or 14%. That rate is higher, but you're borrowing a smaller amount of money. So it's not gonna be so expensive to where it's gonna kill your deal. But if you're like me and you like buying multiple flips, being able to leverage your deals is leveraging meaning using as much debt, as many loans as you can, to be able to buy that property with the least amount of money out of your pocket. I like to make deals happen. I always say they're case by case, meaning every location, every situation, every borrower, every property, they're all unique. So call me, run your scenario past me. Tell me what the address is. Have you already made an offer on the property? Has your offer been accepted? If your offer's already been accepted, we're gonna really dig into it and we're gonna be much more interested in trying to make that loan work. In the market we're in now, in 2022, buying flips is highly competitive, but don't let that discourage you from getting out there and writing offers and trying to buy flips. The deals are out there, it just, you have to look at a lot of properties, you have to write a lot of offers. So if you call me, let me know if your offer's been accepted and you're getting ready to go into escrow, put in your deposit, and I'll jump into the deal and get you a proposal, a conditional loan, letter of intent, as quick as I can so you have at least a commitment from a private lender. If you're writing offers and you need the letter from me, I can write it for you. I'll help you so you can submit your offer and get your offer approved. This attitude that there's a lot of money in the marketplace, which there is, there's a lot of competition amongst private money lenders. In my 30 years of being in this industry and f having flipped um, over 100 houses of my own in the last 12 years, I've never seen private money as competitive as it is. As long as I've been in the business, first mortgages were always 12% and multiple points. And over the years, the rates have come down, where now I see a lot of private money loans in the eight 
and 9% rate. Now, if you put a lot of money down, you might even get the rate lower. I've seen private money loan rates even into the sixes, um, but for most of our flips, when you're putting like 10, 15, 20% down, expect an annual interest rate in the eight or 9% range. So again, let's go back to that Woodier purchase scenario. You're buying this flip for 600,000. You're gonna put in 60,000 in repairs or 30,000 or 100,000, and then you're gonna be selling that flip for let's say 750. Call me, all those factors are gonna matter. What your purchase price is, um, how much you have to put down, how much you can pay for the repairs, your experience. How much is your rehab? What are you selling the property for? How much are you reselling that property for? How long is the project gonna take you? Is it gonna take you two months? Is it gonna take you six months? Is it gonna take you 12 months? All those factors add up. I'm always raising money from local private investors that wanna provide this capital. So the majority of the money that GW Private Capital offers you is from individual investors that invest with us that wanna get that nice eight, nine percent return. Sometimes I'm gonna have one private investor lend you the first mortgage. Sometimes it's gonna be another investor lending that second mortgage. Recently, I funded a loan in Whittier, two loans for a flipper. We were able to give him a first mortgage and a second mortgage, so he bought that property with basically no money out of his pocket. He's very, very experienced, and we can accomplish that for very experienced flippers. If you're new to the game, don't let this money and capital discourage you partner with flippers so if you have a great deal and you're like I don't have any money but you have this great deal don't lose out on the opportunity call us let's see if maybe a partnership or some other um, scenario structure can work for you and us um, we've been very very fair in sharing in the profits splitting the profits and helping you flippers experienced flippers, new flippers, take advantage of flip opportunities and not let the flip opportunity pass you by. I've had realtors and flippers contact me and they wanted to borrow money and then they just changed their mind like, hey, you know what? Why don't you, Jay, buy the property and then they'll make a reasonable wholesale fee. And um, the last uh, one I did was uh, last year, bought a property in Woodier, realtor came to me and she's also a flipper and I bought the property and paid her a $20,000 wholesale fee and I ended up buying the property. At GW Private Capital, we try to be very accommodating, very flexible. We wanna help you make the deal. We wanna be as dependable and fast as we can because you don't wanna lose out on that great flip opportunity. When you're borrowing flip money, and private money for that matter, location does matter. For us, it's a little easier for us to make you a loan in Southern California because I have more bandwidth, whereas you're buying something in like Oakland or up in you know, Northern California. A little more challenging for me because I can't get up there, but I'm not gonna say no. It's down here in Southern California. There's a very, very good chance that I'm gonna make your loan. If I can't make your loan, I'm gonna tell you really fast so I don't waste your time. I'll make a quick commitment to you. So let's go back to that Woodier flip scenario, you're buying it for 600,000, your offer's been accepted, you put your deposit into escrow, now you need a loan commitment, you need some terms. So you call me up, Jay, I'm buying this property on 123 Elm Street for 600 grand, I'm gonna put $60,000 in re repairs, it's gonna take me two months to repair the property, I'm gonna put it back on the market, should be able to sell it for 750. So I'm gonna, um, send you a conditional uh, loan proposal or letter of intent, LOI. And that's actually, I'm gonna take the terms, I'm gonna look at, you're gonna tell me about your credit, your experience, and I'm gonna talk to some of my investors and I'm gonna get someone to make a commitment to you. So when I give you a conditional proposal, I've actually spoken to some of my investors and we've decided that this is, that you're actually getting a conditional a commitment from one of my lenders. So I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna prepare this letter of intent, which I'll email to you. Uh, Mr. Flipper will lend you, we will lend you 540,000 at eight and a half percent for six months, nine months, 12 months. The term of the loan is gonna be tailored 
to how long you're gonna need the money. So if you're like, I only need it for four months, I'm probably gonna make the loan term five or six months. If you're saying to me, hey, I'm gonna, I'm, it's gonna take me longer, can you give me nine months? We'll tailor the term, the length of the loan when it's due, um, kind of based on how long you need the money and how long the project's gonna take. I'm gonna send you this letter of intent. It's gonna have the loan amount, the interest rate, all the costs that I'm gonna charge on my side, the points, whatever fees, processing, um, all my fees are gonna be in there, so there's not gonna be any surprises. That proposal is not gonna change unless something significantly material in that deal changes. Um, you tell me that it's gonna be 60,000 to repair the property, and we dig into it, and we find out it's really gonna be more like 80,000, or you tell me it's gonna sell for 750, but it's really gonna sell for seven. We, once you know, we make those determinations, we may say, and we'll do it quickly so you can go on to someone else, or we're gonna just tell you, hey, do not buy this property. It's not profitable enough. And we've done that. We've had people call us and we've talked them out of buying properties because we just felt with private money, they were gonna lose money or they were gonna be cutting it razor thin. So our experience as flippers and having done hundreds, if not thousands of private money loans, we're gonna be able to help you set yourself up for success and not fail during this, um, this flip process. Cause it, it can be very stressful once you own the property, trying to get it repaired and stay within your budget and your timeline, and then put it back on the market and get it sold. Back to the letter of commitment and the terms. Loan amount, how much we're charging you, how long the term is. Um, you're gonna see for, in our proposal all the details of that loan and you can decide that makes sense for me or someone gave me a better deal, I'm gonna go with them and that's fine. Um, I, like to, I don't wanna waste my time, I don't wanna waste your time. We're here to do deals, make money, so I wanna give you a com commitment fast um, I'm committed to you, you're committed to me, and just tell me, hey, I have a better deal, go get that deal somewhere else. This is you know, a free marketplace, you get the best loan you can, I'm here to give you the best loan I possibly can. But the one thing about GW Private Capital is we are very, very reliable, transparent. When I give you that proposal, you're not gonna see those docs change. When those loan documents come to you in escrow, you're not gonna have to scratch your head and your, your head explodes when you see that those terms change. I've been doing this too long. We build relationships with flippers and realtors. I can't play games with people. Um, this is a small industry. My reputation means way too much to me. If you like my proposal, let's move forward. If you don't like it, no skin off my back. I'm here to make deals and, um, and build relationships I want to be competitive. I want to offer you a competitive private money loan that helps you save the most amount of money and get you the best loan for your transaction. What are some of the requirements to qualify for a private money loan? Um, so you're going to fill out a GW loan application package, which includes a standard Fannie Mae Freddie Mac loan application 1003. I normally don't put you through this whole process of having you fill out all that paperwork. I can usually, based on your experience, you tell me your credit is a certain credit, I'm gonna take that into consideration. Now, when we're actually getting the loan formally underwritten and approving, I want that package, that GW private capital loan application package with your experience, your rehab budget, I want details on that and I'm gonna to have to get a copy of your credit. We can lend money to people that don't have the best of credit, so don't let that deter you. If you have better credit, great. If you don't have the best of credit, I just need to know that. I have to disclose that to my investors. We don't look at debt ratios. We don't look at any of that stuff in making these loans. It's based primarily on your experience, the deal you're buying, how much resources you have to work with, how much down payment. Are you able to make monthly payments? Are you able to pay for the rehab? Do you have reserves? We're gonna look more at those factors, your experience, your resources, the deal itself, more so than credit or 
your other obligations. Rarely times that we're gonna turn the loan down once we've looked at your package. If you've been trans, if you've been honest with us up front and we know what we're getting into, we're gonna still try to make that loan as best we can. Our goal is to make the loan. If we like the deal, we wanna try to fund it. We want you to buy the deal. We wanna fund the loan. We wanna make the loan. We want you to exceed. We want our investors to get their money back. We don't want them to have to chase you down because you're not making the payments. Um, private money loans are much more abbreviated and streamlined. They're not like bank loans where we need a lot of bank statements. Sometimes we don't even do appraisal on the property. We just, we're, because of our experience, we'll do a BPO, like we're, we'll value the property, I'll drive by it, I'll meet you at the property, walk me through it, I'll take photos, I'll run comparable sales, I'll get that back to my investors. Sometimes we will do an appraisal if it's really a hard property to evaluate, um, but a lot of times we don't even do formal appraisals because I don't need someone else to tell me this property is gonna sell for 750 when I already know, I'm a flipper, I'm a broker, I'm an experienced lender, I can value a property on what it's gonna sell for pretty well, especially being a really experienced flipper. I know how to project you know, what that property is gonna sell for after it's been repaired. By talking to you, I know what your experience is. I may have you give me a list of um, recent projects. I know by talking to you and interviewing you if you know what you're talking about, if you actually have experience. And if you tell me you have the 10% down, I'm gonna assume you have the 10% down. If you don't, you're only putting yourself in a position to jeopardize your, your deposit if you've already put that in there. So I wanna get you a loan proposal as quickly as I can so you can look at it and say, hey, I have a commitment from GW Private Capital and I can buy this property with confidence and close quickly. Um, getting flip loans should not be difficult and we try to make it as easy as we can. Um, that's the difference between private money lenders. Some people will put you through incredible paces and have you fill out tons of document documentation and give you a lot of bank statements and write this letter and that letter. We try to keep it as simple as we can so you can buy your flip property with the, the most easy process. If you wanna know more about fix and flip um, loans, private money fix and flip loans, give me a call, Jay Green, GW Private Capital, 714-747-1912. You can text me and, or let's meet and um, I'm here to work with you to help you get your fix and flip loan so we can do more business, you can buy more flips. I buy a lot of flips myself and have to use, sometimes I'll pay cash, but a lot of times I'm using private investor money, my own investor's money to buy these deals because I can buy a few, but I can't buy all these properties cash. I'm gonna run out of capital. So I leverage these deals also. So anyways, I wish you tremendous success in finding flips and getting more flips in 2022. Let's do some business this year and good luck out there. Get out there and find those flips.